Welcome back. In the previous step, we understood the need for multi-threading. Why do we need to create threads? Now, let's start with creating a few threads. At the basic level, there are two ways of creating threads. One is by extending a class called thread. The other one is by implementing an interface called runnable. In this step, we will focus on extending the thread and creating an instance of the thread class. So, what I would want to do is, I would want to do this in a thread. How do I do that? I'll call this task1. So, I'll say class task1. I'll say task1 extends thread. And in the thread, you need to implement a method. The exact signature of the method should be public void run. So this is something which you need to remember. The signature should exactly match this. This is the exact signature that you need to have. Inside this, you can write the code for your specific task. So now I can go here and do this. Right? So I'm copying the code of task one into a thread. So into the thread, I've copied task one, done, and this loops and prints this stuff. How do I make the task run. So how do I execute this task in parallel? How do I create a thread for it and run this code in parallel? Let's see that right now. Over here we would want to create a task, right? So the way I can create that is by saying task1, task1, let's create a new instance of the task1 class. Once you create a new instance of the task1 class, the way you can kick it off is by saying task1 dot run that's all so task one dot run and to make it much more clearer what i'll do is i'll add another system dot print at the start task one started right so this is once the run method gets executed it would start the print method it would print this and then task one done that's what is printed the most important thing is i call the run method in here that's not the method that needs to be called. I wanted to clearly tell you that it's the start method. So a lot of beginning programmers start calling it as task1.run. Task1.run will not really run it in parallel. If I do task1.run, what would happen is it would be executed like a typical method. It will not be executed like a thread. So if I do task1.run, what would be happening? You'd see that task one started, task one completed. Then you can see that task two is started, 201, and task two is done. Task three has started, and task three is completed. So this is typical execution, right? If I really want to kick off task one as a thread, I should say start. And let's run this right now. Aha. One of the important things you would have started noticing in here is task one started, and you see some of the things from task 2 coming and printed in here. So task 201, 202, 204. So not just the things about the task 1. So task 1, we are printing, what is task 1 doing? 101 to 199, right? So it's not just the task 1, but even the task 2 code has started executing even before the task has completed execution. To make this even more clearer, what I'll do is say task2 kicked off. So task2 is going to be kicked off right now. So let's put another statement in here saying task1 kicked off. Here task2 kicked off. And over here, I'll put another statement saying task3 kicked off. Right? Let's run this right now. You can see is that task1 is kicked off. And inside the thread, we print task1 started. And even before the task1 did any processing, you see that the task2 was kicked off. So what is happening in here is this code, which is present in here, is running in parallel with this code. As soon as I said task1.start, this code started running in parallel with the other piece of code. That's what you would see, right? Task1 started and you can see 101, 102, 
that's cool and after 155 you can see that task 2 is kicked off and after that you can see some of the task 2 things in parallel to task 1 things so if you can see here it's 210 209 208 and all that is running in parallel so task 1 and task 2 are running in parallel with each other in this step we looked at how to kick off a thread we created a new thread by extending the thread class and we implemented a public void run method the way we ran the thread was by saying task 1 creating an instance of the task 1 and saying task 1 dot start and this kicked off the thread and we saw that this code was running in parallel with this code i would recommend you to try and run this program few times and look at the output and try to see where what is getting kicked off from i'll see you in the next step where we would try and paralyze even task 2 until then bye bye this video is part of a java course with more than 250 steps helping you become an expert on java you can find the complete course details in the description of the video along with it you can also find the details of a free PDF with 200 pages of awesome code examples in 28 minutes, creating great programmers.